What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution XROM on this device and as you can see we have the latest build as 6th June 2020 build and if you are talking about the builds like proper name which will be Evolution X version 4.4 for a file and Android version is 10 you can see the build date again 6th June 2020 and it will say 0600 official as of right now this is the latest build for this device and whenever you're flashing the ROM make sure you're flashing the latest build I'll put the direct link for the website where you will find all the builds and just look at the dates of those names you can like just download the latest build as of like whenever you are downloading it so right now let's talk what's interesting in this rom and what are the differences so if you're flashing this rom the first thing you need to keep in mind you have to be on the latest firmware vendor and as this is a redmi k20 pro indian unit i'm on the latest 12.009 vendor which is the miui 12 vendor so if you are not on this vendor you cannot flash this latest build so make sure you flash that latest vendor and if you're still worried let me show you what i am talking about here i have booted into my orange fox recovery and if you want to know about the version of this orange fox recovery this is the latest one version r10.1 underscore 3 as you are noticing here so with this recovery what you need to do you just go to your download folder then you just flash this Rafale in global version 12.0.09 with this vendor you can flash this ROM you won't get any error 7 or something but if you do not have the redmi k20 pros indian unit you have the u or something make sure you flash your like region based vendor whichever is the latest now once you flash that vendor flash this latest build which is evolution x version 4.4 Rafale and the build i downloaded over here flash this with the fcrypt disabler so i have the decrypted storage so that's why i have used the like fcrypt disabler and again if you're coming from me why you have to format storage once to do that you go to menu manage partition select data tap right and then format data then type yes that should work if you're coming from me why but if you're coming from a different custom rom go to wipe select dalvik cache system vendor and data over here these things and swipe to wipe once you have wiped those just flash the firmware vendor then the rom file and a script disabler you do not need any g apps or something because g apps is already included in the rom file itself so first i'll just go to the about section and show you the about section here as you can see it shows the evolution x logo up top of course and the android version is 10 if i go back the evolution x version you can see which is the version 4.4 and it says underground official build the security patch is of latest June 5th, 2020. The stock kernel is Fixie kernel and the build maintainer is Joe Huab. And you can see the build date which is 6th June 2020. Let me go back to the system and show you we have the system updater still and it shows the info over here about the ROM. And you can download and flash any like updates from here, official updates. And if you go into gestures, we have the Rust screen gesture still. Then we have the system navigation gestures and here we have the Android 10's full screen navigation gestures. You can customize the pill bar size over here. I did that. That's why I have this like big pill bar and you can like customize more things from here or you can use two or three button navigation from here. Now let's talk about one more thing which was like there. It was an issue about the Bluetooth. Well, I had the issues in past like two builds over here, two or three builds which were based on like 12.0.09 and with those builds bluetooth was not just turning on so whenever i turn on bluetooth it goes off whenever i like swipe down i see the bluetooth is off but on this build this bluetooth bug has been totally fixed all the bluetooth devices like bluetooth headsets or even the mi bands and stuff everything is working bluetooth is working right now and it has been fixed totally so you should not worry about bluetooth anymore if you were hearing about it now let me show you the stock camera still we have the MIUI camera as the default camera and all the lenses does work like the wide angle and the telephoto lens and the normal lens too and inside video mode we get the like 1080p 60 4k 60fps option too as you are noticing over here we do have 4k 60fps option so you should not worry about it and in terms of slow mo we still have the 960fps option so yep you can shoot slow mos up to like 960 fps in 1080p and here we have the portrait mode and stuff everything is working including the front camera as you are noticing here and front camera led lights are working totally fine you should not be worried about that i have disabled the sound so that's why it's not making the sound but normally it does 
Now let me show you, I have already installed Google Camera 2. I have installed this APK separately. If you want this Google Camera, you can click on the card right here. And you can like follow the settings and stuff with that video. And night set and stuff with the Google Camera should be working totally fine. You should not worry about it. In the home screen, the widgets and stuff still working. To the left of the home screen, we do have the Google's Discover page. And if I swipe down, we have the quick settings panel. And here in the quick settings panel, we have the FPS counter as you can see. And it does show up if you are noticing right here on the left as you can see there i see 60 fps so yeah the fps counter pretty much working fine you should not be worried about it and in terms of the screen recording let me show you we still have the oxygen OS kind of screen recorder and if i go into the settings you can change the resolution and we have up to like kind of 4k option i guess then we have the bit rate and you can change this bit rate to like 8 16 20 24 whatever you want and then we have the fps rate or the number of frames on the video 60 30 24 or 15 fps video shooting or the recording option is there you can change the audio source to internal or microphone audio of the device then we have the video orientation changing option and a lot more stuff this like screen recorder should be working fine now we have the heads up disabling option and the always on display is still there now let me show you by going into the settings we do have the face unlock inside security but inside security as you can see this google play system update shows red right now i don't have an issue with it but i'm just showing it now before i show you the face unlock and stuff i did not set up face unlock right now but i'll show you the fingerprint scanner speed first let's try with the always on display unlocked now let's try with the left thumb on the always on display unlocked now i'll do it from the lock screen itself unlocked now let's do it with the lock screen with the left thumb and it unlocks so right now it's time to do it with the night light turned on as you can see display went yellowish so right now from the always on display did not unlock twice it did not unlock but then it worked now i'll do it with the left thumb again as you can see for two times with night light for the first like few seconds it does not work i think you have to try it a little bit later and here i'll do it with the like lock screen night light turned on right thumb worked with one single try again and with the left thumb from the lock screen night light turned on and it works and with dc dimming turned on let me try the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see it works now let's do it again and it worked again so earlier there was a bug with dc dimming the fingerprint scanner was not working but right now i think it is actually working let's try with the lock screen and it's working so yep you can use it with the DC dimming if you want to. And while I'm in the display settings, let me show you the display settings again. And always on display settings are there. Then we have the dark theme. I have been using the ROM with the dark theme. It has been working totally fine. Nightlight and stuff is there. You can schedule that. Live display is there. You can calibrate the color of the screen. Let me go back. We have the styles and wallpapers. And here you can customize the theme. Then we have these kind of clock settings if you want these and inside wallpapers we have this come alive section as you can see we have these live wallpapers you can set any of them if you like then inside living universe we have these many live wallpapers too so you can set any live wallpaper as you want and download them from here now let me scroll down we have the double tap to wake too and double tap to wake does work let me show you as you can see Double tap to wake and double tap to sleep on the status bar both like work super fine, no issues. Now I'll show you by setting up the face unlock. So let's do it. Now what I'll do, I'll just go double tap on the lock screen and I have to swipe up from here and it unlocks. The face unlock speed is really great. Let me do it again. So as you can see, the face unlock is really, really fast. You should not be worried at all like regarding the speed of the face unlock and whenever you are going to the home screen it is really great that you can just swipe up and it will put your google assistant out there so that's really cool and the animation which does over here in the home screen if you are noticing from up close this looks really really cool now here in the settings if you go into the battery settings we have the battery temperature on the bottom screen on time over here and you can check the full usage of the battery from here well these are the times i updated the rom the battery life should be pretty good you can get up to i guess seven plus hours of screen on time or a full working day of usage from this rom let me go back and inside the sound settings we have the audio direct or the me audio sound enhancer and we have the hi-fi sound enhancer too and both are working fine the sound output via the headphone jack is pretty great and if you are using 
the youth edition over here the sounds uh, like it sounds really really good i would say with the headphone jack and even with bluetooth the sound output is great now here we have the ring notification alarm for bluetooth etc volume kind of settings and you can set that and it will appear like this by the way the volume panel earlier had the arrow to expand a little bit it is not there right now so you have to use the stock kind of expanded thing over here now let me go into the vibration we have this kind of ringtone vibration pattern again in call haptics feedback is there and the vibrate for calls option is there in terms of customizations everything is is inside this evolver settings and we have the about section and you can donate to the developers from here let me go back inside themes we have the accent colors as gray i think i have to reset this accent color picker i if i want to use that so yep and headline and body fonts is there icon shapes are there status bar icons everything is like it was earlier and all the customizations should be working totally fine and we have the clock settings of the status bar battery bar section is there you can customize the battery bar if you want to then battery style we have the like default one and then dotted circle field text hidden circle big circle etc is there and then we have the battery percentage section you can change the battery percentage to the next to the icon or inside the icon we have the volti icons as this mui 11 hdcf asus wallet hd oxygen os normal volti or the vo only icon now let me go back we have the notification panel heads up you can disable it pulse on always or the like edge lighting notification kind of thing is there and you can customize the edge lighting color from here we have 16 million kind of colors you can choose any of them notification light and battery charging like both are there we have the blink for incoming call like MIUI and blink for call waiting is there too inside quick settings we have some quick setting panel disabling option and stuff and here we have the quick pull down right left or always and smart pull down is there too if you want that then battery percentage in the quick setting panel is there column and row number customization is there advanced reboot is there of course and you can directly reboot from like reboot to the recovery from here if you want to see the gestures here we have the swipe to the screenshot so first you have to go to this misc settings and inside over here select this take full and extended screenshot so once you select that and if you take a screenshot right now it will switch to the asus kind of screenshot and you can edit them if you want to or share or delete them from here so yep you have to select this option from the like misc settings and screenshot type after that you can take extended screenshots so inside gestures again we have the brightness control so this is a really handy feature i can adjust the brightness just by sliding a finger on the status bar and screen off power button torch is there let me lock the device and if i try right now as you can see the torch is actually like working if you see over here on this plant so yeah the screen off power button torch does work no issues now we have the status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep both are working fine as you can see even on the lock screen as you can see the double tap to sleep is working totally fine let me go to the lock screen now here we have the pocket detection then fingerprint authentication and stuff we have the fingerprint icons of course plethora of icons you get over here so you should not worry i have been using this one and then we have the fingerprint animation and a lot of animations are there as it used to so all the animations do look amazing i use this mclaren one personally i like it and then we have the MIUI cyan, MIUI white, etc. kind of colors which emits from the fingerprint scanner. So that looks really cool. But by default, this is set to MIUI cyan. So I did not change that. Charging info option is there in the lock screen. So whenever you are plugging in your phone, so it will show on the lock screen how much current it's pulling from the wall. So that's really cool in the lock screen. 18 watt fast charging does work super fine by the way over here. And status bar in the lock screen is there owner's info you can change that and charging animation like flash which appears over here on the bottom of the lock screen these things are there whenever you are charging you can see these animations let me go back we have the navigation panel and you can enable them or invert the layout if you are using two or three button navigation so that's cool in the mix settings we have the crt scale animation of the lock screen and then we have the like holy way animation again in the misc we have the smart pixel gaming mode wake up on charge disabling option and the normal charging animation etc and usb configuration you can set it to file transfer if you want to so that's it for the customizations by default the rom feels buttery smooth for daily driving i do not have any issues earlier builds of the like latest vendor had some bugs but i'm really happy that right now it is totally stable enough to daily drive again and bluetooth wi-fi etc is working totally fine the drm info is showing as level one over here as this is the indian redmi k20 pro unit 
and it passes the safety net test completely so you should not be worried about banking apps either on this rom i did do some payments with google pay and it did work right out of the box so without even flashing magic you can use google pay or any other banking apps on this rom and you can play all the games in the highest settings possible even you can play with anti aliasing in call of duty and stuff and here is the and to do and geekbench score of this rom So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.